Still working on that afternoon almond? I've been sucking on it so long, it's smooth. It's like sea glass. You do you. <gasps> I'll get that for you, Ames. <gasps> Oops. Butterfeet, sorry about that. Sorry? You bumbling son of a bitch! You just ruined my life! I hope you get hit by a truck and a dog takes a dump on your face! Ain't nothing to see here, just a little hypoglycemic rage. Move along. I'm so sorry, Hitchcock. That's not me. I'm never like that. That's okay. It was my fault. I shouldn't have bumped your cashew. Cashew? It was an almond, you idiot! I hope you drown in a tub! I hope you have aneurysm after aneurysm after aneurysm! Mm. Ah. Don't make me hit you again! Um, I'm building this dollhouse for my girls. It's their birthday tomorrow. I told my wife I'd get it done. I had the same exact one when I was a kid. Mom, Charles is hogging my dollhouse! Grandma bought it for the both of us! You want some help, big man? No! I can do this. It's just driving me a little crazy. Where do I fix the prince's tower, Boyle? Where do I fix it? Inside of the church. Now, now, Boyle. Let a brother breathe. Let a brother breathe. Hey, Sarge, do we have any old t-shirts in here? I... Detectives. Ah, Captain. Did you come down here to take a look at the two best detectives you've ever worked with in action? The two best detectives I've ever worked with are Montez and Dillman. Oh, you've never mentioned them before. They were excellent. I'm here because Major Crimes wants this case. I was hoping to tell them you have some leads. I overheard you mention a Bill Bobaggins. Should we bring him in? Well, as much as I would love to meet him, he is not a suspect. OK, so who is? At this time, no one. But we are currently investigating no leads. So you have nothing? No, nothing. Jake made a new best friend, the Vic's mom. He promised her he'd solve the case. That's a rookie mistake. OK, fine. So maybe I'm not Montana and Dilbert. Montez and Dillman. And they would have remembered your name after one mention. Because we're memorable, and they're not. Turned it around. No. Nope. Right, look, Captain. Rosa and I are going to solve this case. The answer is in this room. We just have to focus and let the room speak to us. Isn't that right, room? When you talk to the room, I lose even more confidence in you. Why? Oh, wait, I see it. All right, can you please just buy us some more time anyway? Sir, I feel like we've earned this. Fine. Work fast. You got it. OK, let's look at the scene like we're seeing it for the first time with fresh eyes. Vic was face down. Cast off splatter suggests upward knife slices. No signs of forced entry. Laptop wallet keys were all there. Doesn't, Doesn't connote, connote a robbery. robbery. Wait a minute. Have we said this already? Are we just having the exact same conversation? Yep. Cool, moving on. Windows and doors locked from the inside. Nobody in or out. Think, think, think. Uh, oh, the upstairs neighbor and his best friend. Drill through the ceiling. Murder Adams bleed all over the apartment, then climb back up and seal the hole behind them. Negative, we would have found construction debris and microscopic paint fibers. The only thing that needs patching is that theory. <sighs> OK, new idea. We're going to get inside the mind of the killer. We eat the veggie wraps. Here we go. Oh, this sick bastard. Oh, man. This is one twisted mother. Oh, the beach are raw. This guy is demented, Rosa. OK. All we have to do is figure out what kind of person can walk by cameras without being seen. Someone camouflaged as a wall. Unlikely. Harry Potter in his invisibility cloak. Not a real person. Babadook. Doesn't exist. What about a looper situation? It's not a looper situation. It could totally be a looper situation. Not a looper situation. This is my least favorite hair. Oh, my god, Rosa, come here. Look at the blood spatter. Do you see what I see? Uh, blood. In the exact shape of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Peck, peck, delt, delt. Big Samoan tattoo. Rosa, I think I just made a connection. The number three is everywhere. Three people, three types of blood, and guess what the tax was on the veggie wraps? Three dollars and 19 cents. But if you ignore the 19, then it's three. OK, you've lost your mind. What? Who told you that? Was it room? No, it's the fact that you think the room has a voice and also you're working in your boxers. What? To beat the heat, Rosa! To beat the heat! <laughs> we can't turn on the AC. That's not crazy. It's just smart. Jake, I gave the case to Major Crimes. What? You can't do that. I promised Luann. Yeah, and now you can't let it go. The scene's yours, guys. I'm sorry, Jake. It. It's over. OK, Rosa, fine. I'll leave. Come on, room. You left your pants. I don't care! You need to go to a hospital right now. I don't want a birth happening around me. It's weird. Gross. I'm nowhere near giving birth. I haven't even lost my mucus blood. Amy, you need to get the out of here. I'm sorry my baby grosses you out, Rosa. I'm excited to meet your baby when it's clean and wearing clothes and not blasting out of you like some half-Cuban Jimmy Neutron. I'm just at the start of my labor. Your baby's coming. It's still not active labor. Don't worry. I'm not going to have the baby here and get placenta all over your desk or whatever it is that you're afraid of. Wait, is placenta something that can get all over? Actually, technically. You know what? Don't answer that. I don't want to know. It's behind one of these three doors. 
Why don't you pick one? Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. I don't need Monty Hall ruining my place of work, but Monty Hall has already ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Why did you do that? Dude is pent up. Now he knows. Problem solved. Just eating butter like a popsicle, huh, boy? Yeah, I know, I'm spoiling myself, but I'm depressed. Or have you forgotten that Jake, my best friend, is in prison? Wait, Jake's in prison? Yeah, he and Rosa were framed for a bunch of bank robberies by Lieutenant Hawkins. Oh, right. And where's Gina? On maternity leave. We were all at her baby shower last week. OK. And why am I bleeding? I don't know, Hitchcock. Oh, so you don't have all the answers. I'm bleeding because my piece of crap son-in-law bit me. Look, we all miss Jake and Rosa, which is why we have to keep working the case. There has to be some way to exonerate them. I've been looking, but I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. I can't find anything, and I don't know what to do. Title of your sex tape. What is happening right now? They caught Hawkins trying to flee the country. She confessed to everything, and they let me out. Oh, my God, Jake, is it really you? Are you really here? You know it, baby. But first, I gotta hug my best friend. Yeah. What? Welcome back, Peralta. I just heard from the mayor. To apologize for what happened to you, they're sending you to Disney World. You and one male guest. As long as I don't have to go on any of the scary rides. I just go for the shows. <laughs> boil, 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 boil! Were you dreaming about Jake again? Why did you wake me up? I told you never to wake me up! All right, thanks. OK, here's what Esther remembers about the night that she was robbed. She was either at our restaurant or the movies or doing something else. And she was either alone or with people. The only thing she was absolutely sure of is that I seemed like a very nice boy, which is not relevant to the case, but did make me feel very good. This is stupid. I mean, it was 20 years ago. No one remembers anything. I'm beginning to think maybe we should climb out on that ledge and see how the perp got in. I was going to say give up. What? Right after I came up with that incredible ledge thing? Terry, we're 10 stories up. You can handle that? Sarge. I'm not scared of heights, OK? I'm scared of bees, and I'm scared of snakes, and I'm scared that the Knicks might never be good again, but I am not scared of heights. We're going to die! 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 I would appreciate it if you didn't tell anyone.